Shabbat Shalom and good morning. This is uh, coming up on 10 o'clock on the, uh, what is it, the 4th of September 2021. And I was looking on BibleHub.com, which is one of my favorite uh, websites for reading the Bible. And uh, I came across uh, Matthew 5 and it was uh, really interesting to look at the cross references to various verses in the Bible. Uh, it can it can lead to a really interesting um, the thread that you can see through the whole, like from Genesis to Revelation, um, that there's a, a a thread or a, or a common thought that runs through the whole Bible. So here's one. Um, Matthew, I'm looking at Matthew chapter 5 on BibleHub.com. And um, they have BSB, which is a Berean Study Bible uh, translation, which is apparently their default translation. Um, so if you pull up a, a book and chapter in the thing. So uh, Matthew chapter 5, so I'll start with verse 43. You have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteousness and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Verse 48, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And the verse I wanted to focus on was uh, verse 44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So I click on the number 44 on, the, on there, and it pulls up that specific verse on BibleHub.com. And, and it shows, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, verse 44. Then uh, a little bit below, there's a second called cross-references, which is interesting. Um, so the first cross reference they have is one is first Samuel 24, 17. And, uh, King Saul said to David, um, you are more righteous than I, for you have rewarded me with good, though I have rewarded you with evil. And this is referring to, uh, the time when, uh, King Saul went into a cave to relieve himself and, uh, David was about to kill him because he, he was hiding inside that very same cave. And, um, but the Holy Spirit convicted him. And so he did not kill King Saul, but, but cut a corner off of his robe. And, um, uh, but did not harm him because, because King Saul was anointed by the Lord Jehovah to be king over all Israel. Then there's Proverbs 19.11. A man's insight gives him patience, and his virtue is to overlook an offense. Then there's um, Proverbs 25.21. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. And so these are these are things from the Old Testament, um, Genesis through Malachi, or Malachi or Malachi, um, and then um, and then there's you know Luke chapter six, which is uh, a, the same a, a different telling of the same event. Um, 
and then there was uh, Luke uh, 23, 34, when, when Jesus is, is being crucified. Uh, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his garments by casting lots. And then John 13, 34, a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And um, I think he was kind of being tongue-in-cheek there because it's not a new commandment. That commandment is found in the Torah, uh, in Genesis through Deuteronomy. So I wanted to go back to Proverbs 25.21. Proverbs 25.21. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. So now if I click on that, it'll take me to Proverbs 25.21 on BibleHub.com. And then I'll look at the cross-reference, cross-references for that. And again, it'll come back to um, Matthew 5.44, which we originally read. That was the original verse that we were reading. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And you think, well, this sounds, you know, okay. Sounds like something new. Um, and then Romans chapter 12, verse 20. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. And, well, we just read that. That came from Proverbs. Um, so that's interesting. So then this is the one that I wanted, the two that I wanted to focus on was Exodus 23, verse 4. If you encounter your enemy's stray ox or donkey, you know, that's wandering off, you must return it to him. And in Exodus 23, verse 5, the very next verse, if you see the donkey of one who hates you fallen under its load, do not leave it there. You must help him with it. And so this is, so what Jesus was teaching here in Matthew 5, 44, he says, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, is actually a retelling of Exodus 23, verses 4 and 5. Says, if you encounter your enemy's stray ox or donkey, you must return it to him. If you, and then there's, depending on the translation, I think, or, or there's another place, maybe in Deuteronomy, but Exodus 23, verse 5, if you see the donkey of one who hates you fallen under its load, do not leave it there. You must help him with it. So this is love your enemy. So this is someone who hates you, you know, your enemy. So you are to help them, um, you know, with the things. That's, that's love your enemy in, in modern words, I guess. But there is a uh, either a different translation or uh, another place where this very same verse comes up. It says, if you see the donkey of one who hates you fallen under its load and you want to refrain from helping him because he's your enemy, it says you shall surely help him. So this is, you know, this is the command is, you know, is to, to love your enemies. And so um, going back to Matthew 5, um, uh, what, let's see here, Matthew 5, so, you know, so starting in verse 43, it said, you have heard, he said, you have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Well, this love your neighbor and hate your enemy is not biblical. It is not found in the Torah, because we just read in the Torah that you're to love your enemy. You're to do good for your enemy. Um, you know, it's like, like if your enemy's car is broken down, it's kind of the modern equivalent of an, a donkey or an ox that's fallen under its load. You know, if you see your enemy, you know, on, this, on the side of the highway with, you know, with car trouble, and you want to refrain from because of your enemy, you shall surely stop and help him. So, Matthew 5, 43, you have heard it was said, not you have heard that it was written. It said you have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. So 